guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate that. And if you're new on my channel, then make sure to subscribe and also click that notification bell down below, so you will be the first one who is going to be updated about my new video, because I post five times a week from Monday till Friday, so you can be sure that you will always learn about new, unique perfumes on my channel. For example, Mondays I review niche fragrances, on Tuesdays I do full line overviews, Wednesdays I do haul videos, best offs, and on Thursday, like today, I review more popular perfumes from designer brands, and in this video I will present you novelty from Guerlain that is called Musk Novel, and it is from their Le Absolus d'Orient collection, and let's have a look at this packaging. I adore this radish royal looking bottle. And actually, to be honest with you, I'm not the biggest fan of musk, so since this fragrance has the word of musk in the name, it is obviously about musk. And I was excited about this release because one of the notes in here is uh, aldehyde, and I love aldehydes because, you know, they provide really vintage... Um, touch to the perfumes, because back in the days, uh, classic fragrances used to have a lot of aldehydes in them, because that note was really popular, and right now, when you smell those perfumes, aldehydes is the first thing that stands out to us, because we don't smell it often in modern perfumes, which I personally find it is such a pity. But I was excited about these aldehydes, and I expected them to be noticeable and done correctly, because this girl on one of my most favorite brands, and they did not disappoint me with this release. So, let's talk about the way this fragrance smells. Firstly, when you spray, the opening is really clean, and that is actually because of aldehydes, because they have kind of like this clean, almost soapy vibe, you know. There is also something spicy but really gentle in the beginning, and I think that is because of pink pepper. That is kind of peppery note, but it is glamorous and not really straight into your face like uh, black pepper can be. And there's also a hint of saffron, which really stands out to me because it plays on the contrast of cold and warm. It gives just a hint of warmth to the scent, but uh, it still stays on the cold spectrum. And then the fragrance really turns musky, and there is not a lot of development in this fragrance, which does not really bother me, even though I love when a fragrance develops and goes through different stages. This one stays pretty similar and um, linear all the time, but uh, it is so nicely done that I don't care about that. So, yeah, musky note is really big in here, and there is also the note of rose and geranium, and I find them more in the background. If you're expecting a huge rose, um, just do not expect that, because uh, rose is hidden behind musk and uh, animalic leather, which is soft, which is delicate, which is really thin, and it is refined, it has a bit of a medicinal touch, but not too much, not something unpleasant. This is pretty delicate, leathery, musky accord. And then rose, it just adds more of a mysterious touch without being jammy, sweet, or really floral. And then in the base, as well as the leather note, we have uh, labdanum, amber, orris root, cedarwood, and musk once again, so a pretty classy base. And I need to tell you that, for me personally, this scent smells like a wild animal that lives... Um, behind or even with people, and uh, people are not really afraid of uh, that animal anymore, but it still has its wild character inside. So when I'm wearing Musk Noble, I'm actually reminded by a leather jacket, or even better to say, some fur jacket, you know, because it has this animalic touch, which is not overwhelming, skanky, or just like intensely animalic. It is actually very elegant and sophisticated cold scent that I think people who love classy perfumes will really appreciate. And I find it can be worn on men and women to different occasions, especially 
formal ones. If you're wearing a suit to work or a formal uniform, your look will be completed with the scent because it's like bold red lips as I have on today. It will just add a finishing touch to your outfit look or whatever you know this perfume is bold but it is really nicely done it is noticeable it gives you beautiful sillage and it is very long lasting on my skin it lasts all day long and on the hair and clothes even a few days and people are drawn to it because they notice that this is something new yet it is very pleasant and appealing and I find that if you love the combination of mask and leather with a spiced rosy moment then you will adore Musk Novel and I find that it is a nice perfume to be worn on the daily basis but you can wear it to work too and uh, since it is more on the clean and cold side I love to wear it uh, frosty winter days but uh, actually I sampled it in the summer and it was absolutely perfect and it took me three times to understand that I want a full bottle. I discovered a really generous offering online. I got myself a bottle and this is the first proper musky scent in my collection that I absolutely love and actually I try to match uh, my outfit to the way this bottle looks because I find it is sexy. And that is all for today's video. If you have any experience with Musk Noble, leave me a comment below because you know I always respond and I love to chat with you. If you haven't smelled it yet, definitely check it out and uh, let me know what is your most feared musky perfume, what do you think about this note in general. And that completes this video. If you enjoyed watching it, please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because that will help me out a lot and I really appreciate all of you and stay tuned for tomorrow's video in which I will feature this perfume because this is one of the best releases of the year and stay tuned, smell good and we'll see each other in the next one really soon. Bye guys!